12 o'clock a.m. p.m. How about that? So we have the futures market gap up real big that we updated last night. We have a big rally. We're up 1,100 points on the Dow. We are giving everyone a cautionary note that the daily charts do look a lot better than what they were. And we did talk about that. We have a major resistance level, which is going to be the top on 326. That high was 22,599. Now, we're telling everybody to proceed with very cautionary. Do not buy into the highs of these markets based on virus headlines. There is a nice, big, short cover rally so the bear market is still here in phase one so phase two in the bear market comes in the middle of this month of april that i guarantee you with the earnings and all of the other things that are coming out now the news or optimistic part of a virus news headlines that are driving the markets higher overnight with the federal stimulus buying up the futures market. So as the futures markets go higher, then the equity prices go up higher automatically. So there is an extreme cautionary zone in here. And in the option market at the current price levels, which we have and we will be posting what we're looking at and what looks good to rally up to the next resistance levels like we talked about before. Bear market rallies do have these good rallies. This is a headline event and it's very, very important that you don't buy into the highs. You let things set up you let the price discoveries come in line and then you see exactly where that bull will end. And this is the daily chart of the Dow. So we know that the last top right over here on 331 at 22,477.9 that was that top that will be resistance this is where we had gap down we consolidated with a gap open up on 4 6 of 2020 in the dow jones bear market capitulated type markets that we're in let us not forget one thing we're still in the phase one bear market the phase two of the bear market is going to come. And when it does, that's when those lows can be possibly tested back over here as we move through the calendar month. Remember, a virus optimistic is good, but our lives are at risk. Our money is at risk. So the volatility is a high risk situation. It pays to be patient and buy the good stocks that are setting up on the daily charts outside of the indexes. When the shorts have to buy the cover that is part of a bear market rally. So this is going to be the area right here that we're going to look at. And we're going to look at these daily moving averages and how nice the daily charts are setting up and have been for a number of days. As we hit the bottom, um, we consolidated, we hit resistant, we hit with the gap Friday was a big down day. This is the counter rally with the gap on the opening bell at 12 o'clock uh, Eastern time. Okay. 
So this is the daily setup. Things are looking good as far as what a technician or a chartist in the public sector would look at. Now, when you get into buying good quality stocks and your trading options, you got to know exactly what's going to happen and we'll be updating that. But things are looking good at the moment. We have to deal with this resistance level that's coming up. We will update the Dow later in the afternoon going into the last hour of the market. So this is going to be part one of the opening bell of the Dow with the daily gap and daily moving averages above the 10 day moving average. The uh, 20 day moving average is still pointing downward but it is flattening out. We do have an upward momentum here. We have upward momentum here. This is having an improvement here. That's definitely an improvement. So everything that we see right here with the gap open up. And this is how typical bear market rallies work. And bear market rallies make a lot of money and a lot of optimism and a lot of pent up about people going back to work. But remember, your life is at risk. What's more important? life or money things are going to set up and there's going to be great opportunities in individual equities but let it be known when i get you into that option pit which i'm going to be doing some live ones here is is that you're going to find out the realities of what i'm talking about so once again to all our traders around the world and to everybody we are praying for your health and your family and it's way too early on optimistic news which is great but it's way too early so we have to go through a lot more data and support and resistance is going to be the final factor in the index and a bear market rally raid up to a higher resistance level and then at that point if we do reach our target up here at resistance and it stops then equities would also follow the same pattern and whatnot so once again it's our pleasure to come to you live and it's a morning update just to let everyone know where we're at and this is how bear market volatility works. Patience and discipline is the key, my friends.